My name is Jim Thomas, and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is, do you have fear of rejection in your gym? Now, we, we see this frequently, and probably many, uh, even most, have experienced it at one time or another. But uh, example number one, fear of asking for the sale. We don't ask. And we don't ask because we fear they're going to say no. Uh, of course, we're talking in this case about the membership sale. could be the same thing for asking for the personal training sale or whatever sale you're trying to make, an upgrade or an add-on or you know any additional thing you're selling. We don't ask because we're afraid we're going to be rejected. You know, we see it happen on the phones. You know, people not wanting to work the phones and, and having difficulties, you know, asking for the appointment. You know, that fear of rejection. Um, one of the biggest things we see, uh, it's, it's almost uh, epidemic, I would say, in terms of asking for referrals. I mean, so many clubs don't do this. And we have seen that, you know, in, in all, the, all the research and the surveys and the studies, that well over 90% of the people say that they would give referrals. But only about 2% of the salespeople actually ask. And so we become afraid to do this. We're afraid of rejection. And in many cases, it's because we're not sold on what we're doing. Now, here's what we've discovered about you know, rejection and this fear issue of being rejected. What it is, it's the realization that you have nothing else in your pipeline. Here's what we found to be true is Folks that have numerous appointments set up, they have numerous sales opportunities, numerous people that we're working with, they don't seem to have a problem asking for that sale because even if that customer says no, they've got more coming. Same thing on working the phones. You know, they're not dependent on that one call for success. They have many more calls to make of people that have expressed interest or that they're working through what we would call that cold to sold continuum. Even asking for referrals. You know, we have so many leads. I'm not dependent just on you, you know, giving me leads for me to be successful. So if you're looking to overcome this fear of rejection, you know, the best thing you can do is get your pipeline full and keep it full. Because when you realize that you have more coming, more you're working with, it's going to help eliminate that fear of rejection. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.